everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to make your preservative work this is no magic but i just want to show you how i make my preservative work you can follow it also it's going to really help you as a cosmetic formulator and a trainer of several with several years of experience i can tell you there are ways to make your of your preservative work and there are ways to mess it up the first way to make your preservative work is to work on a clean surface. This is called good manufacturing practice, which uh, is very effective. It's very, very effective. It's one of the uh, requirements for big companies. That means you have to work in a clean environment, well sanitized to prevent contamination of your product. Make sure everything is clean. Make sure everything is, you know, all well. Um, on this channel, you're going to see, you're going, you, you must have watched my video now to sanitize your beaker, um, your work desk and stuff. You have yourself a good isopropyl aqua. Just search on my channel on how to sterilize your beakers and so on. That will give you a good idea. So once you have that one, you have your products ready. You wash your beaker, you've sanitized it. You are ready to go your work. Uh, the uh, surface is clean then take your preservative this is my preservative of choice now which you can find at pure blend natural eu xyp 9010 so the first thing you want to do remember when you're making product most product especially uh lotion so let me say lotion for instance if you're making a lotion um and the, you have water phase you have oil phase remember you have the cool down phase so in this phase i'm going to explain to you the water phase and the cool down phase okay I have this uh, shampoo here, okay, that's just a DIY shampoo, nothing to it, so that's why it's like this. Okay, so in the water phase of your formula, make sure you have a chilito. You ask me what is a chilito? Chilito are compound that help they bind to metal ion that may later develop in your, in your, in your lotion, toner, any of your product. They're going to bind to them and they're going to stop their activity. That is called uh, the process. That process of binding will help to prevent uh, either acidity, oxidation, and so on and so forth. So they are really, really helpful, and they also help. They boost the uh, efficacy of your preservative. So keep that in mind. So what that's what a chilito, a good chilito, natural chilito that you use. We do not use EDTA in the natural. If you see any product that has EDTA, it's not natural. It's, it's toxic. I'm sorry to say, even though EDTA is strong, it's good, no problem, but it's bad. It's bad, bad for your hair. It's not recommended in the natural sector. So in the natural sector, we use sodium phytate. Or, um, if you, for different, they call it different chain name. One is called Dem Demofil PA3, which is very popular. But if you, if you get sodium phytate, you can also use. So add 0.1% of sodium phytate, okay? Make sure you use a disposable pipette get yourself 0.1 percent of sodium uh fight it add it to the water phase of your formulation okay make sure you use a disposable pipette that's the only way to get 0.1 percent accurately so add that to it to the water phase then you can add your other ingredient whether you have already added your other ingredients you can add your tilito lastly that's okay it's good with it so eat your coat or your Water face ingredient, that's good. That's the first step. So I'm going to take this away and see if we are done with so. Then we're going to bring it out. So when you get to the cool down phase, if you do not know how to formulate skincare product, this is where you're going to be missing. Now you you will be thinking, okay, what am I doing? Head over to naturalskincarescool.com to be on the same face with me. I do not teach cosmetic formulation here. There's no way to waste my time. I, there's nothing I can teach you here. But if you want to learn cosmetic formulation, you have done a very good course for beginner, intermediate and advanced from later. So head over to naturalskincarescool.com, sign up for the unlimited uh, package and you have access to everything, the project, the training, and the new, uh, new, our new initiative, stable cosmetic formulas for skincare brand owners. Now, when you come to the, to the cool down fits, okay? At this phase is where you had your preservative. Okay, so you're going to take come to your preservative, you're going to add it between 0.5 to 1.1, or mostly I use it at 1.1. So you're going to add 1.1 percent. You ask me, how do I get percent? This is not what I can show you here. Head over to naturalskincarescool.com to take our formulation training course. 
Now you're going to be on the same page. That's the best way to to be on the same page with me. So for for my beginners and advanced uh, intermediate, this is for you. So add it to make sure you add it to the cool down face. Mix it well. Okay. Then you adjust the pH accordingly. Remember the pH of your product should be you know properly adjusted so as to not affect uh, the skin of your customer. Keep that in mind as you move. So that's about it. When it comes to the cool down phase below 40 degrees Celsius, this is where you had your preservative. Remember, you've already had the chili toy in the water phase. Good, it's already it will make your formulation strong. When you get to the cool down phase, had 1.1% of EU XYP here 9010 preservative and that's about it you are good to go just make sure you adjust the pH want to learn how to adjust the pH of your formulation search on this channel or head over to naturalskinkerschool.com now that's about it that's how to make your preservative work again I'm going to do a recap follow good manufacturing practices make sure your work desk your work table is beautiful not as beautiful as this my radiant thing i'm just joking i'm just joking with you just make sure that everything is all set you have everything well done then after that all you have to do then is um add the chili to the water phase of your formulation then make the emulsion when it gets to the cool down phase make sure you have your preservative euxyl p90 10 at 1.1 if you're in Canada, head over to natural to pureblendnatural.com. That's where you can get your own. If you're in the US, Lotion Crafter has it. So that's about it for this video. Any question about making your preservative work? I hope I've answered that question. I've promised to make the video and finally I did it. So this is how to make your preservative work and make sure you check the pH. Most preservative we have the recommended pH, which is very important. So you have to adjust the pH of your product to match the recommended pH. If they did not tell you the recommended pH, you can use any pH that you uh, that is safe for the skin. 4.5 to 5.5 is the skin safe uh, level for preservative. And that's about it for this video. You know, I hope we are all on the same scale. If you do not know how to formulate skincare product, you may be missing out. I do not recommend you to make products to sell using by watching DIY video on YouTube. It's danger. You are setting yourself up for danger because you might destroy someone else's skin. So the best way to do that is to head over to uh, naturalskincareschool.com. Join me and my fellow formulators, beginners, you know, intermediate, advanced, where we learn how to make different skincare pro using projects. I recently launched um, a formulation training course, which is so exciting. I did that for beginners that don't know much about formulation. You will love it. And I will be there for you all, every step of the way. I'm going to announce that shortly. So thanks for watching, everyone. I wish you the best in your formulation journey. And remember, safety is your number one priority. Make sure you are safe as you are working. So if you want to learn more about formulation, the tricks and tips, this is a channel for you. I basically deal about soap making and cosmetic formulation. So click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.